I'm putting in a fence to keep the cows out. When they come walking round the containers, they tend to make a mess standing on the pipes and the cables. I've got a hardwood iron bark post that fell down a few years ago. So I just dropped it in the hole and packed it down. I need some more posts so I went for a drive in the truck. There's a gum tree but it's no use to me. Here's a baby iron bark, which is okay, but it's a bit too thin, and there's plenty of softwood fallen in the background. Now this is hardwood and it's useful, but I'm going to have to work really hard to get this stuff out. These are all the trees that came down in the storms a while ago, but they're all softwood so that's not much use. So I think I've got to go a bit deeper into the bush. Bingo. Here's an iron bark. The wind's pushed it over and it's as straight as a die. So I take off the crown. That's the first piece. There's post number two. Post number three. And that's number four. I wrestled them into the back of the truck and the big one was quite difficult. So here's my prize. I need to put some more posts in. So I got the crowbar to make some holes. And yes, this ground is as hard as it looks. The spade's not making very much difference. Oh, a rock, and another one, and another one, and another one. I seem to have found an enormous pile of rocks. It took a long time but we got there in the end. I've cleaned the bark off the wood that's going into the hole. The fence proved necessary because one of the cows broke into the veg cage. We know this because he ate everything. And having discovered it was there, they then used to come and push their heads through the shade cloth. For the corner of the fences, I'm going to install brace posts. I need to cut flat wedges on my brace post. I've watched guys who are artists with chainsaws, so I'm going to have to learn a little today. So I just marked where I need to make the notch. I've never done carpentry with a chainsaw. It's actually quite fun. And I'm completely making this up as I go along. Not bad for a first attempt, 
but I think the second one will be a lot better. I know there are easier ways to run out barbed wire, but I've now decided I don't want to be a fencer. This is my second corner brace. I think it's a big improvement. This is my version of a rail gate. In order to get the truck to the veg cage, I need a gate that I can drive through. I drilled coach bolts into the post and I use wire to hang the rails. I can remove the rails in about 30 seconds. Well, it looks like the fence is working. You're not eating my vegetables. That's right, keep on walking. No tomatoes or broccoli or lettuce for you. I'll see you for the next instalment of the adventure. Press subscribe to follow more of our adventures and please press the like button if you enjoyed this video. It helps the channel. For more information about the ebooks, please visit my website at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com.